called the Armed and Dangerous Conference. And it's coming to the area in just a few weeks. Mark's with local pastor Rick Lamb, who says this is a one-day event designed to equip area youth, ages 4th through 8th grade, with solid evidence to support creation and a biblical worldview. Well, thank you. Normally, when you hear the phrase armed and dangerous with middle school kids, you're a little bit concerned. But in this case, it's a good thing, as there's a local conference coming up in March that wants to arm middle schoolers with biblical truth so that perhaps they're dangerous to the secular viewpoint. We're joined now by Pastor Rick Lamb. He's one of the organizers of the conference. And first off, Pastor, tell us a little about how this got started. Well, it all got started last summer when I... Uh I wanted to put together a uh, conference for Christian teachers. And so we had Answers in Genesis come in, and uh, we had some local uh, speakers, uh, Dr. Mary Imes and uh, um, uh, Jeremy Clark uh, spoke at the conference. Mary Imes uh, talked about uh, uh, freedom of speech in the classrooms, and Jeremy is a, an educator and talked about how he lives out his faith in the classroom. So uh, we thought that the conference went so well that we would like to do it again. And it was suggested that we do it for kids this time. So here we are. The conference is going to be March 7th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at uh, the Cairo United Methodist Church, obviously in Cairo. And I, I think it's so important to really reach out to the kids between fourth grade and eighth grade because that's when you can really mold their minds and really implant the truth into them. In fact, AIG uh, a, wrote a book recently that uh, 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 said they're already gone. We typically think that we lose, lose our kids in college, but uh, their research has shown that uh, they're already gone by the time they reach junior high. Part of the point of this conference is to really let kids know what they can talk about in classrooms, in secular classrooms, right? Well, and to show them some of the uh, things that are not necessarily true in their uh, uh, coursework. Uh, some of the books uh, actually have uh, pictures and uh, instruction that have been proven to be erroneous, and yet they still end up in the, uh, in the textbooks. You know, one of the arguments we always hear is that, you know, evolution is a theory, creationism is a theory, but they don't always give equal time to the two, regardless of which one you might believe in. Obviously, we believe in creationism. Right, and they... Uh, Oftentimes, we'll paint uh, creationism with a, a uh, brush of mythology and that sort of thing, all the while teaching evolution as, as if it is fact. And uh, so uh, we want to give the kids a little bit of the other side of the story, page two, as Paul Harvey used to say. <laughs> what are some of the things folks can expect out of this conference? Well, uh, it's going to be... Um, out of the chute, it's going to go fast. Uh, we're going to cover the uh, different um, uh, C's that Answers in Genesis use, the creation, the confusion, the catastrophe, Christ, crucifixion, uh, those things. Uh, and, and along with that, we're going to show the kids um, uh, information that points to the fact that man and dinosaurs walk together, for example, that, uh, that uh, the earth isn't as old as it has been touted <laughs> from all circles. And uh, we try to uh, show them that uh, all the while we have the freedom to speak about Christ and the things that he did for us on the cross and ever since, and uh, that we would be able to go into the classrooms because we have that freedom of speech. Our rights don't end at the door of the school, and uh, the ACLU and some others have uh, shown themselves very powerful in those areas, but we want the kids to know that they do have rights. And uh, Yeah, I think that's one of the things that, that needs to be stressed is you've got Jeremy Clark who talks about how he tries, he uses his Christianity while teaching in a public school. That's right, and uh, uh, he's very effective, and 
Uh, many of his, the students in his classrooms appreciate it. In fact, they'll come to him and ask for uh, prayer for grandparents and that sort of thing. It's amazing uh, the uh, ability to influence that he has uh, because he stands up for the right things. One of the other nice things about this conference, it is free, lunch is provided, but you need to know how many kids you're expecting. That's right, and so we have a Facebook page set up uh, that will allow us to uh, uh, at least get a head count of uh, who all's coming. It's called Armed and Dangerous, and uh, uh, we will be uh, posting a, uh, uh, it in the uh, uh, Facebook community so that it will uh, be broadcast throughout the area. All right, thank you very much, Rick Lamb. As the Armed and Dangerous Conference is coming up, that is again March 7th from 9 to 1 p.m. You saw the information on your screen.